at DeCoin. Horses are coming onto the track behind our official outrider at the DeCoin State Fair, Sonny Dodd of Monticello, Illinois. Race eight tonight for Illinois bred two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings for a purse of $5,000 with Ron Marsh driving the two, Robert Henry. Scratch the five, Cyber Spike, and scratch the ten, Sparky's Fire. Win, play, show, exact a wagering five minutes till post. Let's meet the starters for race eight. Number one, Peace for Lee, owned by Larry Mark and Peggy Walker of Carrollton, trained by Sean Walker. Tom Walker is the driver. Number two, Robert Henry, is owned by Robert and Mary McGee of Naperville and by Rick Schrock of Springfield, trained by Rick Schrock, the driver, Ron Marsh. Three, H.J. Class, owned by Greta Rose of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Michael Gibson. The driver is Tom T. Tietrich. The four, T.E.'s Flash, is owned by T.E. Hare of Brownstown, trained by Pamela Coleman. The driver, Roy Finn. Number five, Cyber Spike, is scratched. Number six, Christmas is coming, owned by Connell Willis of Beecher, Illinois, trained by Delbert Burkett. Connell Willis in the bike. Number seven, Fox Valley Jammin'. Owned by Dick and Barbara Cooley's Tanamira Farms of Felton, Delaware. The trainer is Irvin Miller, the driver, Andy Miller. Number eight, Master Garrett, owned by Ray Hanna and Lyle Buzzard of Altamont. Trained by Ray Hanna, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number nine will be Wheeler Dealer. Owned by Dale and Jane Adams of Paris, Lyle McGilvery, and the Irv Miller Stable, both of Springfield. Trained by Irv Miller, the driver, Michael Osting. And number ten, Sparky's Fire, is scratched. Post time for DeCoin's eighth race is coming up in less than five minutes. And you could join us to help make night racing a success in its debut here at DeCoin. They are just over an eighth of a mile from the start for tonight's eighth event. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Master Garrett from the outside with Fox Valley Jam and also showing early speed. Peace for Lee against the rail. Peace for Lee moves up with Robert Henry right at his neck into the first turn. Those two side by side. Master Garrett is still caught four wide. Now three wide around the first turn with Fox Valley Jam to his inside. Robert Henry has made the lead by a length and a half. Peace for Lee will get a good trip in second. So far minding his manners today. He's second three parts of a length. Master Garrett third. Fox Valley Jam is fourth. The opening quarter in 20 seven and four fifth seconds on to the back stretch Robert Henry leading peace for Lee by one length master Garrett against the rail third Fox Valley Jammin comes to the outside fourth he's three lengths off the lead a gap of three and a half lengths more to HJ class than Wheeler dealer Christmas is coming and TE's flash trails the field approaching the half it is Robert Henry who's on top by a length peace for Lee second and master Garrett third Fox Valley Jammin drops back against the rail again in fourth after a half and 57 Six and four and Wheeler Dealer now starts moving up on the outside. He's first over. He's three lengths off the lead in fourth. Into the far turn, it is Robert Henry leading it by a length. Peace for Lee is second. Now here comes Peace for Lee to the outside at the three quarters. Wheeler Dealer third behind him. Another half length back to Master Garrett against the rail in fourth. And Christmas is coming is fifth. Robert Henry, the leader by three parts of a length. Peace for Lee is right there on the outside second. A gap of three to Wheeler Dealer third. Three quarters and 126. They turn for home. Robert Henry traced by Peace for Lee up on the outside. Peace for Lee up to challenge as they move into the stretch, but Robert Henry responds and opens back up by two lengths. Wheeler Dealer still lingering third. Master Garrett fourth. Christmas is coming still far back inside the eighth pole. It is Robert Henry by three lengths back to Peace for Lee and Wheeler Dealer. Robert Henry will take it. Robert Henry by two and a half lengths. Peace for Lee second. Wheeler Dealer third in 154 and two. blanket to the connections of Robert Henry. This two-year-old gelded son of Sportsmaster is owned by Robert and Mary McGee of Naperville who bred this colt, co-owned by trainer Rick Schrock, originally of Arthur, Illinois, now of Springfield, time for the mile 154 and two, first lifetime win, and now the newest sub-55 two-year-old in the sport, and folks, it's a driving triple this evening, a hat trick for Ron Marsh. How about a hand for Robert Henry?
Rick Schrock, of course, married to the former Tina Walker, and Rick and Tina became proud parents of a baby daughter in February earlier this year, their daughter Emma. And every time you ask Rick about Emma, he'll flash a big grin, and he really enjoys a chance to talk about his little girl. Rick, with a good week here at DeCoin, he had a solid week at Springfield training four winners there a couple of weeks ago. Robert Henry, now the official winner, the 2-1 exacta returning $25.20 here in tonight's eighth race. The rundown coming up 